Welcome to Specific Love. Here recently I purchased a small refrigerator for a shop, but unfortunately it sits on the floor and it's kind of a challenge to always have to get down to get stuff out. So for this video, I'm gonna create a simple, heavy duty, mobile shop cart that I can sit the refrigerator on, but also have the ability to move it around and store stuff under it. Let's begin. Now for the fame of this project, we should be able to use two two by fours and cut all the pieces from there. Now I've cut the two by fours down into three different sizes, 13 inches, 17 inches, and what's supposed to be about 18 inches, but it was reduced a little bit because I used one long board, so it's about 17 and three quarters-ish. But now I'm gonna drill some pocket holes so I can connect all these together. It's always a good idea to pre-assemble all your pieces just so you know exactly where all the holes need to go and you're not gonna accidentally run two screws into each other. Now before we screw all these together, I'm gonna to add a little bit of glue between each of these joints. I know some of this is ingrain, and that means it's not gonna be the strongest, but any kind of added support can help. It's always good to add a clamp whenever you're putting these together so they don't walk around. Sometimes when you don't have enough room, you gotta improvise. I definitely know an impact is not a good choice to do pocket screws, but sometimes, you know, you just have to do what you gotta do. Top the bottom's done, we've gotta flip this whole thing and do the top. Now for the top and bottom shelf, we're just gonna be using some thin plywood. I had a bunch of scrap left over from other projects, so we're gonna cut this down. It needs to be 20 by 20. On the second level, I have to cut out some additional pieces. This is three and a half by one and a half. This way it'll fit around the legs. Now to hold this in place, I just want to put four screws in it. I'm going to pre-drill all the holes so there's very little chance of cracking. Now on the top we're gonna to use four screws also, but I'm gonna use these in the corners because I just think it looks a little bit better on the top. Now I almost forgot I wanted to stain these shelves, so I'm gonna take these back off real quick and stain them up. Now to help it realign me, it's a good idea to make some marks. So I turn this around backwards and do a straight edge here and a straight edge there that'll allow me to easily realign. Now before I put the shelves back on and this is a little bit more open to get to, I want to build a nice simplistic drawer right here on the front. So I'm going to use some one by fours to do that. Now to put these together, I'm going to use this corner square just to make sure everything is lined up. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, line it up, clamp it, and then screw it together. Now that I have the basic frame put together for the drawer, I just cut out a real thin piece of plywood and we're going to adhere it to the bottom. Now to attach the bottom to the drawer, I'm just going to be gluing it together. I normally then clamp it together, but to speed this process up, I'm going to be using a brad nailer. You don't have to have this. If you want to speed up the process, you can put some basic screws or nails in it to just hold it together while the glue dries, but the glue alone should hold this together. Now I'm going to be putting a drawer in right about here, right at the top, and to do that I need to put some rails. So I'm just going to use some one by material and put a strip on each side. I've cut out a couple strips, these are going to be the rails, I'm going to pre-drill some holes so I don't split it. Now putting the drawer in, I always have to be concerned about when it, in the future when it gets pulled out, it can come all the way out. So we're going to add a little stopper on the back by just adding an additional piece of this one by. It's gonna attach it to the back so as it comes forward, it'll catch on the back of this frame and it should stop. Now if you look here, as I'm moving the drawer in and out, it's wanting to go side to side. So I'm gonna add an additional piece right here under it and that should keep it pretty much in line.
That should work. Okay, before I get this fully assembled, I decided I wanted to stain the front of this just to give it a little bit more of a pop. Now to go in the front of the drawer, I'm just gonna use a basic screen handle. I realize I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I should have put this in a secure in place before I put this drawer in, but I made a mistake and now it's just a tad too big. So I'm actually gonna cut this right down the center. Then I'm gonna add this additional piece I've made right in here for added support and that should work. Now instead of adding the four screws I initially drilled in here, I'm gonna add a total of eight, so four to each side to give it a lot of strength. Now that I have this complete, I'm gonna flip it up and add some casters. It's a good idea to get all four screws fully in place before you tighten them down, otherwise this could move on you and just be a problem. All right. Hey, there we go. Nice and mobile, extra storage drawer, storage on the bottom. All right, let's go stick this under the refrigerator. Now that I have the refrigerator on it, I can see it's about the perfect height. I have the ability to move it around if I need to and lock it in place. And with the added storage, that's gonna work great too. So overall, I'm very happy. Excuse me, well, <laughs> started off with a belch. Well, this is your... Never suck your nose in, it like stops up your ear. Are you recording? Oh, okay, awesome.